at real Donald Trump says, Kim Jong-un of North Korea made a very wise and well-reasoned decision. The alternative would have been both catastrophic and unacceptable. Catastrophic and unacceptable? Holy fucking shit. My name is Evan Peterson. I'm an author, tarot reader, educator, activist. My name is Imani. I am an artist and sort of experience builder. What's your take on what's happening right now? North Korea is claiming to escalate their nuclear capabilities. Will there be a nuclear war with North Korea? Oh, I don't know that I can answer that question. I don't answer questions like, will we get bombed by North Korea? As a witch, part of my ethics are that I don't tell people when they're gonna die or how they're gonna die. It's like speaking a blessing or a curse, right? There are two ways that the energy can go, and that's just a dangerous realm. Here's a question, how can we cope with these feelings of anxiety? That's a great question. Is it time to read some cards? Yeah, absolutely. Great. All right, so right now, the Seven of Wands is saying, stand up for your values. Stand up for what you believe in. Whereas the Chariot indicates progress, but it also indicates a lot of confidence to deal with the anxieties around these threats of nuclear conflict. Maintain your inner strength while you're also moving forward. And meanwhile, don't get so stuck on emotions. When you have anxiety about a direct threat to your life, feel the emotion when it's powerful in you and then let it go. What are some details about this conflict that maybe we're missing in the news? <laughs> Dragonflies dwell by water. I'm, I am nervous that there are secret things happening on the waterways that we don't know about, which is really fucking scary. But hey, that's what they said. I'm just, I'm just the messenger. Yeah. Just the messenger. <laughs> this is why I'm nervous about it. There's so much power in submarines and being able to hide um, in the depths of the ocean. Um, woo! I'm scared now. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. <laughs> Are there any tangible things we can do to protect ourselves from nuclear violence? Part of the issue with that is that nuclear violence is such a grand scale. A good question is how to mm, keep our joy in the midst of all this mayhem. <laughs> the horse, I think, is really about running wild. Also, they are gorgeous. Um, so I think it's about stopping to witness beauty. Celebrate the things you have in the material world right now. Combat the threat of annihilation with optimism and creating. You know, this is about destruction. Fight it with creation. What are some psychic dangers living under this threat? Dangers of like not being able to hear very clearly because we're so overwhelmed with what's currently um, happening to us or being imposed upon us. You've become hooked on a constant IV drip of anxiety and fear, and you're the only person who can get unstuck from that. The trees don't know who's president. The birds don't know what's going on between North Korea and America and Guam. Look to those creatures and see you know, see how they live their lives. And I don't need to read cards to tell you that. But if you really want a card reading, I can give you that too. Hey, it's Marina from Cut. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our uploads. Then while you're at it, click the link in our bio to pick up some of our merch and tag us in your pics. Bye.